everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, and today I will be reacting to Amira Willighagen's performance of Amazing Grace. I'm so excited to be watching this video and reacting and analysing with you. Thank you so much for suggesting me this new singer, who is also Dutch, so sold. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, I am actually half Dutch, half Italian, which is why whenever there is a Dutch or Italian singer, I'm like, yay! <laughs> so Amira is a Dutch soprano singer who won the sixth season of Holland's Got Talent at the age of nine, which is impressive. So I'm expecting, you know, the expectations are high. <laughs> Before we do go into the video though, I have a little announcement to make. If you didn't already know, I have my very own unique link in the description below get amazonmusic.com slash Jennifer Glatzo for my name to ensure that you get three months free unlimited Amazon Music Unlimited. I mean, three months, come on. <laughs> Amazon Music Unlimited has 70 million songs of every single genre that you can think of. I was listening to Celine Dion on repeat the other day. <laughs> you can download the songs so you can have them when you don't have Wi-Fi around, for example, on a car drive, on a walk. You can also watch the music video on certain songs. It has the option of choosing either the song or the music video, so that's pretty cool. I personally love to create my own little playlist. I've got one for workout, which I call workout standard. <laughs> I also have one that when I'm just getting ready and I've got all my funky party tunes, you know, you know the ones. Nine to five definitely features on there, love. But you can create playlists specifically tailored for you and your event, so you're covered. Don't forget to get your three months free unlimited Amazon Music Unlimited by clicking the link down below at getamazonmusic.com slash Jennifer Glatzofer. See you there. Right, we're about to start the reaction now. If you have not yet subscribed though, I would love for you to join the family and subscribe and click the bell button to be notified fight any time I post. Let's go. Look at that dress! I want to wear that dress. <laughs> oh, it's so delicate. That was so smooth. There was that little section on that W. W's just kind of favour that nice smoothness sound. I'll go back to it and you can hear it, but that was... <laughs> that part, on that once, it just really leans into that smoothness of that sound even more. Because obviously we're not going on a glottal onset. We're not going, I mean, say the word once with me. Once, it has a W in front. So obviously we're not going, uh, uh, so we don't have that harshness of the uh, vocal folds meeting together and creating that glottal onset. It's smooth, but obviously this, she's smooth everywhere, really, but it just, you can hear it a lot more when that W obviously comes into play. Something I want to point out as well, which we'll probably continue hearing throughout the rest of this performance, is that every time we go a little bit lower into that naturally thicker fold area, into our chest register, lower register, we get into that. We don't bring that head voice and light feel down with us. We get that grounded, get that support from the bottom area. So we are anchored as we go higher, which is really lovely. And also sometimes um, can be a little confusing, especially for a soprano 
singer because we feel like we have to be up there the whole time in this head voice space because we're a soprano but soprano singers go down here as well that's how we get our anchoring we stand up on our feet it's from the lower to the higher we get our anchoring support from underneath really lovely She's also, what, so this was, it says 2018, but I think it was, I think this was 2000, 2017, 2018. So she must have been around 13, 14, I think. Unless, you know, my maths is completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think she was around 13, 14. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But especially around this age, 13, 14, your voice is still growing. Obviously it continues to grow, but especially around puberty, we are going through some huge changes. To have this technique and stillness in her voice already is so impressive and I can't wait to hear something current after this and just to continue watch this voice grow because it's so smooth and still and easy to watch. Music is just so lovely. I just cut her off then. <laughs> music is just so lovely. Imagine being at that age, any age, but having that choir behind you, the orchestra behind you, they're doing so fab. The whole thing is so beautiful. And grace will lead me lovely space. nice that whole that was really lovely i wish we could have seen her a little bit closer on that especially those high notes it was a little bit too far away then we went back to the orchestra which is great we want to see that but i would love to have seen her uh mouth shape everything seems really really easy and light up there we're not adding any more muscle work to cause some friction or strain or anything up there we're not pushing too much breath up there everything still is just floating really lovely something i also want to mention is the use of twang here normally we just associate twang to a loud annoying noise that we kind of bring in when we are working on our mix but sopranos use it too to get that extra lightness in a different way because we are not going for it on a full belt obviously it's not that quality but we've got that nice lifted soft palette a lower position larynx maybe not too much here but that could be something that could be used as well a little bit of that sob, sob quality and then some twang in there as well we can hear that here and grace will
example, on that last note, we had a little bit of a sob quality just to get up there, but then we had that twang as well to keep it bright so it wasn't just dark. Another interesting thing is that we are altering the vowel shape a little bit on, let me just get it. And grace will lead me. me. So we're not going, and grace will lead, because that might favour a little bit more of a musical theatre sound, or even, even a pop, depending on what your style of uh, singing you're going for, what style singing you're going for. <laughs> Here we are keeping those lips a little bit in that pursed position. And grace will lead. So everything is really forward and we're kind of helping that soft palette movement as well to ensure that space from her and the back of our mouth. It also makes those transitions easy so we're not going from and grace will lead me home or we're not going back to this we're kind of all in that position already so those transitions go smoother. Thank you so much for suggesting this performer to me she was such a joy to watch and I absolutely love the stillness that she holds. She had this arm here that was kind of constantly keeping her a little bit anchored and supported and it'll be really nice to see what she has worked on in these years, where she is now, how she's developing her voice even further because her voice can only grow, which is, <laughs> wow. For such a well-known song, Amira made it really, really current and um, really connected to those words herself and found her own and a storyline within the song which is really important for any performer whatever you are singing if it's something that it has been heard many many times and you are singing it and think what else can I bring highlight any areas that really stick out for you and just say those words out loud and see what rings thank you so much for being here with me today if you did enjoy this video please do go ahead and click the subscribe button the thumbs up button and the bell button to be notified anytime I post and I shall see you all very soon bye don't forget to click that link in the description, getamazonmusic.com slash Jennifer Glatzofer.